I have to confess to you something, but please don't get mad about what I'm about to say. I killed Michael. You did what? And I do believe that this Sanderson Brothers crisis is over. Well, it might be over, but you still have to apologize to your colleagues for killing me. It was self-defense, you're all right. I'm sorry. Can't you see that I'm preparing to go home? You're gonna pay for this for what you've dropped the The police just told me that Finn has been shot. What? Oh god, no, 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 no. How did that happen? Well, I have no idea. Angelo really is going way too far. So I'm going to his house. Pour drug powder all over Angelo's drink. And when he drinks it, he'll get prepared. No, I can't let you plan this again. Yeah. What the hell? Gotcha. You've reached the dead end and there is no going back. Now you're gonna get it for what you've done to my boss. Tell me, what did you do to my boss? I drugged him, alright? Angelo was the one that shot Finn, so I had to get revenge on him. Exactly. And you should be ashamed of yourself for- Look, can't we at least just get on with this? Angelo is one of the most dangerous criminals in Castle Bush, and he blackmailed people, murdering others, and even stalking many women. Oh wow, you have no idea that you are trying to send my boss behind bars because of everything. Well, that's exactly what the police is planning. They are trying to send Angelo back to jail, but they failed miserably. Absolutely. And you know what? You have to say your- Hey. What is going on here? He started it. He was the one that drugged my boss, and he is going to regret it. But it was just an act of revenge. That's all. Just please drop the gun and don't shoot. You heard him. Please don't shoot him or I have to call the cops. Damn it! Alright, you win. But you have to be careful about what you wish for. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh my god! What happened to Randy? I don't know. I was about to go to his house when I realized that he's been locked in a cage, and he may have been held captive by someone. Thank god you're here. Please get me out. Randy, it's okay. We have to get you out of the cage somehow. Does anybody have a pickaxe? No, I don't. I have no idea where I left it. I'll go to a couple of blacksmith houses just to see if there are any pickaxes in the chests. I got it. I only found an iron pickaxe, but I found it. Now I have to smash the cage down. Are you alright? Yes, I'm alright. I have no idea what just happened. It's alright, at least we've managed to rescue you, but we have no idea who kidnapped you. Could it be Angelo who was responsible for kidnapping Randy? Well, no. I'm pretty sure Yangelo didn't kidnap Randy because he had nothing to do with him. Then if it wasn't Angelo who kidnapped me, who did it then? Does this answer your question? What me? Who are you? What do you want from me? You can introduce me as Jose Mullins. However, some people call me the Killer Bunny. You sure do look like Josh, but your eyes look different. Exactly. I see that you have released Randy from his custody. So it was you who kidnapped Randy. I should have known you've been behind this. I did that because of one reason. He did not pay attention to me and he got what he deserved. But I've done nothing wrong. I mean, you can't just kidnap me while I was at home, and you have nothing to do with me in the first place. I have. I have and you shouldn't have escaped from my clutches in the first place. And you know what, when I come back, you are all going to suffer the consequences, till we meet again. It's good to see you again Ashley. How are you feeling? Much better. It's great to work in this hospital again. Yeah. 
We thought you were going to die, but it was a miracle that you were still alive. Exactly. But where's Lucas? He's not here right now. He's probably stressed after killing Michael. What? What? So you are saying that Lucas has actually killed Michael? Well, yes. According to Oliver, Lucas may have crawled out with Michael at the Sanderson Brothers headquarters, and Michael was later trapped in the freezer where Lucas killed him. So this is exactly what Lucas has been planning. I mean, why did Lucas killed Michael in the first place? Ashley, can you please just calm down? The Sanderson Brothers crisis is over and we have to stop talking about those psychopaths. I guess you're right. But what should we do now? We have to work because we got some busy business to take care of, as usual. In that case, I'm off to eat at the cafeteria. I'll go by myself since you're too busy. Hi guy. Welcome back Ashley. It's nice to see you again. What's up? I have just been released and I feel a whole lot better. So now that the Sanderson brothers crisis has came to an end, we can get to work normally again. Exactly. So what would you like to eat? Actually, you don't have to serve the meal for me. I can already see Richard eating the chicken. Oh. Well in that case, I think you should go ahead and eat the chicken then. Okay. Welcome back Ashley, I'm glad that you're feeling much better. I sure do. So how are things going today? Well not much has happened, though I can only explain just a little detail. I just realized that Lucas isn't arriving to work at the Heart Center Hospital for the day, and I'm not sure why. Probably because he is still sleeping at his house or something. Exactly, but we'll deal more about this later, but right now let's eat the chicken. There is only one on the table right now, so we have to share. Where have you been? I've been waiting at least two minutes for you to arrive. BMO, listen. We have to talk. I just went to Angelo's house last night and... I drugged him. You did what? Yes, you heard me. I drugged Angelo. I did this a lot carefully and Angelo won't notice what I'm doing. I went to his house last night, poured drug powder in his drink, and I saw Angelo being drugged. That's what happened. I'm, wow. I'm speechless. I mean, why did you even drug Angelo in the first place? It was my plan, alright? Angelo shot Finn because he learned that Oscar was shot, so that's why I drugged Angelo in retaliation. Fred, don't you understand that you are trying to make this crisis dangerously worse? Dangerously worse? Are you insane? I mean, Angelo has been committing crimes against us ever since he escaped from prison. And if this keeps happening, we are all dead. Stop staring at me like that. I had to teach Angelo a lesson for everything, and if Angelo retaliates, I'll retaliate on him back. You've gone crazy. I mean, you can't just retaliate on Angelo all because he is trying to retaliate on you first. Well, sorry. It had to be done. Now while you excuse me, I have to go. I have to calm down after all of this. Who are you? What are you doing at my house? Oh, hello young boy. I was waiting for you. Listen, I only want to ask you a question. How the heck did you get into my house while I was away? For your information, I secretly climbed into the windows and I made it inside while you weren't knowing about it. And why do your eyes look different? I mean, it looks terrifying. Of course it is, and I only came here because, I want to capture you. Wait, what? Die. Guys, what is- Gah, what the hell? Get back here right now you stupid brat. Guys I need your help. There is an evil bunny who broke into my house and he's trying to kill me. What? Oh my god. We have to call the police. Not so fast, I overheard what you are trying to do to me, and you are not going anywhere. Now just a minute. How could you break into our house while we were away, and then trying to harm our son? I mean, how could you do this to us? Oh wow, you have no idea that you don't deserve to live a happy life with your unintelligent son and another bunny who deserved to get murdered by a serial killer. Hey, don't you dare call me unintelligent. Besides Pixie was my sister but she died a long time ago. Exactly, but guess what, 
You are going to join. Run. Get back here, you cowards. All right, so, how are the patients doing today? Well, Bubblegum and Marceline's condition is beginning to improve, meaning that they are beginning to recover after the Bubblegum's cafe explosion. And what about Jake? Well, the same goes for him. He is beginning to recover and his condition is also improving. Yeah, but have you seen Lucas anywhere? He was supposed to be working today. He is still not here yet, but I'm pretty sure he'll arrive any time now. There you are, Lucas. Have you calmed down after Michael's death? I sure have. It's good to have Ashley back, and now we are working in this hospital normally again. Exactly. You may have overslept or something. Listen, I didn't oversleep. I was very busy with other stuff. So how's everything going? Just fine. We are very busy working in this hospital today, and I had to check how are the patients doing. The patients are doing fine, but we recently had to rush Chief Investigator Finn Crockett to the hospital because he was shot. Exactly. But at least we don't have to worry about the Sanderson brothers anymore. Totally. I'll answer it. Josh, what are you doing back here? Listen, there's no time to talk right now. There is an evil bunny chasing after us and he is trying to kill the all of us. What? Oh god, no, 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 no. Are you mentioning that evil bunny known as Jose Mullings? How did you know it was him? I don't know, but I recognize him. Get inside now before Jose sees us. Gotcha, I knew you are hiding away from me. It's him. Everybody get inside. Don't you even think about making a move or I will kill the all of you. Do you understand? Jose, please. Just put the gun down. Why, when you have no idea that Randy has secretly got away from me without my permission when I asked him not to escape? Randy? Who's Randy? He is one of my friends who originally lived in Texas, but he moved to Minecraft here. Enough of this. Say your last words now or it's the end. Guys, what's going on? And you, don't move. Stay where you are and nobody moves until I say so. Mom, please call the police. This bunny is trying to kill us. No phones allowed. I mean it. If I see anyone with the phone, I'll start shooting. Jose, please. Put the gun down. You are only making it worse for your- Shut up. Alright, you know what, I'm giving you 15 seconds left to live, and if you tell anyone about what I'm doing, you are all dead. Jose, please stop, okay? You are a psychopath who kidnapped Randy and you are trying to scare the- 10 seconds. Jose, don't do this, okay? Just put the gun down so we can- 5 seconds. Jose, please- 3 seconds. Kelly, look at me. Look at me. You gotta stay with- Oh my god! What have you done? I'm sorry. I had to do it. He tried to kill Randy and I fought back. 